Did you know that in 2019, global carbon dioxide emissions stood at 33 billion metric tons from fossil energy, causing climate change? We know that in order to meet our climate targets, we must reach zero in the next 30 years. And without carbon capture and storage technologies, that would be practically impossible. Global assessments have found that the world must capture and store hundreds of billions of tons of CO2 by the end of the century to keep temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's as much as storing 70 years of annual U.S. CO2 emissions, the nation with the second largest CO2 emissions currently. This is a massive task, but countries around the world are already taking action. So, how does the storage of CO2 work? And is geologic storage of CO2 permanent and secure? The short answer is yes. Permanent and secure storage occurs when CO2 is injected below the Earth's surface, typically a mile deep. Emissions are trapped in the pores of deep geologic formations with impermeable rock layers acting as seals to naturally prevent CO2 from escaping back into the atmosphere. These porous formations, known as saline reservoirs, are ancient geologic deposits that are millions of years old. Advanced techniques are used to select sites that maximize storage security and permanence. For example, in the U.S., there are already laws to ensure monitoring and verification to minimize risk of CO2 leakage to the atmosphere or drinking water aquifers. The Department of Energy estimates that the U.S. has the potential to store hundreds of years' worth of our current annual emissions, captured directly from air and biomass, as well as stationary sources such as power plants and cement and steel factories. So, how can the U.S. leverage this unique opportunity to permanently dispose of hundreds of millions of tons of CO2 emissions? First, we must enact durable federal policies now to support the development of geologic storage infrastructure and carbon capture technologies. This will boost the economy and create jobs. Second, we must drive investment into zero carbon climate solutions with a national policy requiring the reduction of carbon dioxide pollution. These cross-sector strategies will allow us to reach our climate targets and build a strong carbon management economy.